All right, we just wrapped up here. 23 M1000RR competition. And let's see those numbers. So we've got stock here in red. Let's kind of scroll this over here. Stock here in red, tuned in blue. You can see we are making 10 wheel horsepower of a stock. Now this obviously is not as restricted as the other models that we've seen so far, the 23S1000RR or even the M1000 single R. And red has a very odd, we noticed a soft limiter up top. You can see there's a hard limiter on ours. There's a very soft limiter here. It almost feels like it never hits the rev limiter. Uh, and that's on the dyno. I can't imagine on the road what that's gonna feel like, so I'll find out. But um, right now I'm just going off of what the dyno results are. We still get in these things in the mid range here. We're picking up a whole lot of power. That's like almost 15 wheel horsepower right there just in the mid-range and fifth gear. That's new for 23 as well, where they get these restrictions, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Fifth being the least restricted um, of the restricted gears and second being the most. And I'll show you second gear right now. Let's see what second gear looks like. Let's clear this. This is stock second gear, beautiful flat spot. And let's see tune second gear. As you can see, a massive, massive, massive difference in power. I mean, just about, just about 50 wheel horsepower right there. And on top, we're gaining power too, of course. And if we were to compare, let's say, for example, our M1000 single R that we did here before, M1000 single R right there, 199 wheel horsepower. Let's compare right over here. What is it, 18? Right there. So you can see, this is interesting right here. So this is a M1000 single R, which is basically a 23, or sorry, the 23S1000RR engine versus the M1000RR, which has a different bottom end and the top end is machine ported rather than just a cast head. And you can see um, the blue being, this is the M1000 double R, this is the M1000 single R in red. And you can see we're gaining a few horsepower in the mid range and at peak, we are getting just a hair horsepower at peak. And I mean a hair horsepower at peak. These two engines are basically nominal to each other. What we think is that the bike itself really likes compression and should have a head gasket added to it for serious race applications. But for the casual rider, no need to do that. This thing is plenty powerful at 200 wheel, even on 91 pump gas here in California. Um, doing really well. So happy with the results here. And uh, that I believe is the first dyno ever in the world for the M1000, or sorry, the 23M1000RR competition model. So we found some interesting facts and now let's go ahead and see how this thing does on the road.